this is our honest attempt at trying to make learning more meaningful and having students kind of see themselves, one, in the curriculum, two, a part of the community, and three, social agents for change. So transforming curriculum for us is moving beyond a traditional model where you just solely focus on the content. It's really adding two additional threads uh, that are woven into a unit and those threads include uh, relevance, so what we call uh, content in context, as well as content critique, which means bringing in voices and ideas and perspectives that are often uh, left aside. We're working on the COVID-19 PSA. We're talking about how mRNA and COVID, like how they work, and talk about DNA and stuff. Content and Context provides relevance to students by making the content more accessible because it's relevant to them. There's usually a personal side. For example, with COVID-19, that's something that we continue to live through. Students are very well aware of what happened in terms of us having to go into lockdown, the vaccine, masking up CDC guidelines. Everybody knows about COVID, but everybody also doesn't understand the science behind it. So we want to make sure we can put the science with the personal background. So now it's not just protein synthesis in isolation being taught as content alone. Um, but now it's like, you know, we've heard about this mRNA vaccine. Well, what are the actual processes that go into it? And then all of a sudden, students then feel like it's much more meaningful. Last time, your personal connection actually brought you over the top with the judges, mm -hmm. right? Because each of you told your own story. Yeah. So what, what, can, what can we expect to see from this project this time around? Like, she was in America and I was in Pakistan. So our story will be different from each other. Content critique is this idea where we're kind of combating that single story in terms of how science has been historically taught within a traditional science classroom. A big part of um, going beyond the single story and bringing in multiple perspectives is a lot of our students needing to see themselves in not only the curriculum but also in the perspectives that are brought in. That will be a good place to start thinking about why certain, if you're black, brown, people of color, you might have some hesitations about mandates and treatments because there's history. There's some historical things that have happened. The added piece that allows for students to get really excited for this is the fact that we are bringing in community members. And now you're here and we are glad to celebrate this time with you and to have judges and folks from district and parents and community members here to see what you have to, what you produce, so. And um, sends that out to go fight the virus instead of actually damaging your DNA. It translates it into the ribosomes that creates the spike protein. And then... <laughs> Look at you, you're really good, good at this. Go ahead. One, two, three, four. And then that means if I had COVID, uh -huh. I would draw. Because we can see the uh, countries of Africa or Asia. Uh, in our country, it's not like a lot of, they don't use a lot of technology and stuff. So we were totally abandoned from education. And just through your mouth or nose, going through the trachea. We want them to make positive changes to where those who have been left behind or left out by the systems that we have in play, whether it's education, health, legal, that they are equipped to go into these spaces and ask those questions, those critical questions, and start shifting the dynamics. Mm -hmm.